Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about bitwise and ternary operators in Java. In our last classes, we already discussed about uh, arithmetic and logical operators. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, bitwise operators. There are three types of bitwise operators. One is AND, OR and exclusive OR. So these are the symbols. Ampersand is, for, is the symbol for AND. Pipe symbol is for R, cap symbol is for exclusive R. Don't get confused with this ampersand and R symbols. In our last class when we discussed about logical operators, what's the symbol for logical and ampersand ampersand? Two symbols, two ampersands are there, it is logical and. Single ampersand is there, it is bitwise and. Similarly, two pipe symbols are there, it is logical R. One pipe symbol is there, it is bitwise R operator cap symbol for exclusive or first try to understand what is bitwise operator so bitwise operators applies on two bits so suppose take two bits one 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 and one bitwise and works like this if both the bits are one then only bitwise and is going to be one otherwise it is zero one and one it is one output is one 1, 0 and 1, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0. This is what a bitwise AND operator. If both the bits are 1, then only the output is 1. Otherwise, it is 0. Similarly, bitwise OR operator, if any one of the bit is 1, the OR operator is going to produce output 1. Otherwise, it is 0. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. At least one bit should be one, then only the output is one, otherwise it is zero. That is what OR operator means. Coming to XOR operator, exclusive OR operator, cap symbol, output will be like this. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. See, if both the bits are same, 0, 0, same bits, 1, 1, same bits, then our output will be zero. Otherwise, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. If both the bits are same, the output is 0. They are different bits, then the output will be 1. This is how exclusive R will be. So now coming to, we will do some examples for better understanding of bitwise operators when we are going to apply int a is equal to 5, b is equal to 3, c. c is equal to a ampersand b. We are applying between two operands, a and b. Bitwise and. What is the value in a? a is 5. The binary value of 5 is 101 and the binary value of 3 is 11. So 0, 0, 0, 11. How the bitwise AND operator is going to work here? In this example, bitwise AND means 1, 1, 1 and 1, which is 1, 0 and 1, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the output you are going to get A and B means. What is the value of this? Decimal value for this binary number 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is equivalent to 1. That's why it is going to display output 1. A and B is placed in C. It is going to display. If you display C, it is going to get 1. Similarly, A or B assigned to C and if you want to display C, you are going to get 7. See, this is 5, this is 3. So, 5 means 1, 1, 1, 1 or 1, which is 1, 0 or 1, 1, 1 or 0, 1, 0 or 0, 0, 0 or 0, 0. This is equivalent to 7. This is the binary equivalent of 7. So that's why it is going to get 7. Now coming to the exclusive or 1, exclusive or 1, which is going to get 0. In, in the above table we discussed it. both the symbols are same, we are going to get 0, exclusive or. 1 exclusive or 1 which is 0, 0 exclusive or 1, 1, 1 exclusive or 0, 1, remaining zeros. This is equivalent to 6, so it is going to display output 6. This is how bitwise AND and bitwise OR, bitwise exclusive OR operators will be. So, in many of the computer network networking applications, uh, we do this AND and OR operations, bitwise AND and OR operations. Uh, in order to do encryption, decryption, there we are going to use this bitwise AND and OR operators. 
so that's why these operators are very very helpful during the security purpose uh, applications now coming to the next one ternary operator how, first we will we are going to understand how the ternary operator is will be then we will take an example how to use this ternary operator variable is equal to expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3 this is how ternary operator syntax will be variable equal to expression 1 question mark expression 2 colon expression 3 see a is equal to 5 b is equal to 3 c is equal to a greater than b the first expression should be condition whatever the condition you mentioned here second expression is a plus b third expression is a minus b see this is how ternary operator works it will check the condition in the first expression so a greater than b is it true or false 5 greater than 3 yes it is true if this condition is true then expression a plus b will be executed and the output is assigned to c otherwise a minus b will be executed and the output is assigned to c in our example 5 greater than 3 so a plus b will be executed this second expression is going to be executed a plus b means 5 plus 3 which is going to be 8 8 is assigned to c so if you display c you are going to get an output of 8 if this condition is false then a minus b is going to be executed this expression is going to be executed otherwise if the condition is true this expression is going to be ex executed this is how ternary operator is going to be executing hope you understand bitwise and ternary operators if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you